We need help. That is the message from one San Antonio nonprofit dealing with demand for mental health services. Right now, Big Mama's Safe House provides that care at no cost. The night team's Patty Santos takes us inside the program that already has a wait list. Elizabeth Casanova lost three people in three years, not to mention other trauma in her life. A lot of us um, in these in, in our community, which is blacks and browns, we we grow up with this. Um, what happens home stays home. Casanova knew she needed help, but like many others in her community, she faced hurdles like finding a provider, long wait lists and insurance. The financial part of it, I think, is what stops a lot of people. In this small room at Big Mama's safe house, Casanova found the help she needed at no cost. She is among 70 people the nonprofit has helped over the last year. I am a clinical coordinator and licensed therapist. Dr. Denitra Brooks James joined Big Mama Safe House to provide mental health services to families impacted by trauma. We have a community of people who don't get mental and emotional and um, uh, services. Last summer, the nonprofit received $144,000 from Metro Health. The money from the American Rescue Plan Act paid for two years of community mental health services. This is your love, this is your passion yeah. to help people get yeah. better. I love, I love everything about this. I love giving back. But with so many people reaching out, she says the need for more therapists is evident. I can't see everybody. Um, we, we got a, a student aboard, an MSW student um, through Angelo State University, so we're trying to implement as many avenues as we can to get all everybody taken care of. Casanova says she is grateful that she is now able to talk about her loss without breaking down. It feels good and nice to know that there is someone in the community that cares because we don't get that too often. Before you were here, where were these people going? I have no idea. They're just suffering. And Steve Big Mamas is also looking for professionals that are willing to offer their services to this community for free. Now, the big obstacle, obviously, Patty, to making this a permanent solution Where's the money going to come from? Yeah, right now they're getting some city funding, but they're really looking to Bear County commissioners to see if they can fund another uh, person to do this work. Yeah, that's what they need. More help and more money. Yeah. Thanks, Patty. Thank you for watching KSAT. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe so that you can stay up to date with San Antonio's latest news and weather.